Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. So I had originally planned on doing a react to Chantel. I haven't done it in a couple of days, but nothing's going on with Chantel right now. As far as I can tell, she's not live. Natter's not live, which is really shocking because I know something's going to go down with her and Natter today. It's payday, apparently. Um, but nothing's up there right now. No community posts, none of that stuff, which is normally what she does on payday to kind of try to get us off her scent. But nothing, so far nothing. So I said, fuck it. I saw Amber uploaded. I know it's going to be boring. We all know this. So we're going to watch it together and be bored together. Okay, so we're going to go straight to her channel. I hate that we're giving her the view, but here we go. Um, No tiny sweater. Very happy. Uh, Crazy hair. Hate the makeup. Stupid choker, but okay, whatever. It is what it is. 13 minutes, sushi and getting rid of my hoard. I don't believe that. Vlog. So today has been... No intro and she just went with vlog. You know on Parody Puppets? Parody Puppets does the animation of her arm so freaking well. It looks exactly like that. Tiny hand, gigantic massive arm. She does the dark knuckles where they... I don't know if Parody Puppets is a guy or a girl. Anywho, so let's go. And pretty good. I feel like I'm in a really good mood. Update on just like outpatient therapy. Bullshit. There is no outpatient therapy. You liar. Liar, liar, liar. Um, with my psychologist, it's going like amazing. I had an appointment. No, there is no psychologist. Shut the fuck up. And today. I actually have homework that I had to do. I put it away in my binder, but oh, um, she, how convenient! She's trying to teach me more about like cognitive behaviors and like. Hold on, this is the binder where I keep some of my stuff that I do. So, so she's because nobody could possibly just buy a binder and put a bunch of paper in it. Trying to teach me like this ABC situation type deal. You stupid bitch. Enough with that. It's not cute. It's not. Where it's an activating event and then a belief that happened with it, the consequence, and then she Googled this shit. And I have to answer are my thoughts above and call them be realistic or helpful? And then uh, what can I tell myself on such occasions in the future? So I had to do three of those last week, read them to her. Now she wants me to do one of those daily. Um, what other homeworks did she have? I have it written down. Um, there's a book she wants me to read. Um, in the comments, in her comment section, people are telling her over and over and over that they don't believe her either about this. And I think this is why she's doing all this. Personally. In my opinion. It's some other like personal things, but it's been going good. I literally am obsessed with my psychologist. Like I love her so much. What 31-year-old says they are literally obsessed with their... It's, you, no, no, no. So much. And I'm, like, worried that when I move out of state, am I still going to be able to keep this psychologist? Because I feel like I'm just not going to vibe. You're not going to need your imaginary psychologist because she's imaginary. With anyone else um, as much. I don't know. She just, like, gets me. But anyways, right now I'm actually Shut having sushi. Up. She's a moron. Moron. This one, oh, <laughs> this one's fried, um, like a tempura fried moment. But there's like jalapeno crab. She's so stupid. Cream cheese in it. I think Jay tells her to really, really work it with that because I think she wants to be like mm, some sort of like an iconic figure on YouTube, and you know, like. Trisha Paytas is known for certain things she does. Um, Jeffree Star is known for certain things that he does. Uh, everyone has their own like cer certain little things, little quirky things they do. But she is beating this dead horse and it's just not even cute. Moment, situation type deal. No, it's dead. It's not funny. It's not even kind of cool. It's not, no, 
just stop it and then i also got this one which is not tempura but it's more so like a crab salad type thing in the middle it's not a crab moment which i have not tried that one yet so let me try it we'll do a little taste test moment there's also a cucumber in that one and avocado out of ten that's some good stuff and of course ginger i love ginger they have chopsticks for a reason you ding bad my girlfriend doesn't like ginger it's the weirdest thing speaking of ginger did you get any may i steal it mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you baby <laughs> that wasn't funny and her tooth is almost completely gone stole it but um that wasn't funny I don't know if you guys noticed, we rearranged the office. Um, wow, her picture just got yellow. Did anyone else notice that? It went yellow. Someone weird just called me. With this. You ate your food, your roll, it was a roll, with your fingers, and you ate your ginger with your fingers, and now you're sticking that gross-ass finger behind your ear. Said robo collar. What's that? Why would we edit this part out? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And we both have the same desk, by the way. We this is a third time rearranging the office. This is by far the best. What do you think? Yeah. So instead of being like a at first it was we were shaped like an L, and then we were across from each other, and now we're just like side by side but there's like this huge gap obviously like in between the desks um this is yep scratch your head now with your filthy fingers and then continue to keep eating with your fingers you nasty ass my favorite because i have this like little corner to myself i know it can't just be me that feels that that is absolutely fucking gross Elf, which i love oh one last thing and then i'm gonna eat my sushi because it's so fresh so fresh um dumb I have finished Just Get Home. No, I don't believe that. And it was pretty good. So if no. you don't want a spoiler, skip ahead. Um, just a little bit. So the two main characters, the foster teenager. She's not a kid, by the way. So that's what I'm saying, foster teenager. Um, she got the R word. It happened to her twice. And she got shot. But long story short, the um, the older lady in this is like going to adopt her, is what I'm going to assume. Because at the end of it, she came back for her. So there, it's a happy ending without actually telling you it's a happy ending. And the older lady's baby and ex-husband did survive the earthquake. And the only death that happened was um, the lady's... I say lady instead of saying the name. I don't know why I do that. Uh, her name's Dessa. Dessa. So quirky. Dessa's best friend, who it seemed like they had like a little deeper than friendship moment, but she ended up dying. Okay, I'm fast forwarding this shit because I don't give a fuck. I don't believe you read those books, so this is pointless. Rambling, rambling. All right, let's go back. Right. But so far, so good. Okay, you guys, I just woke up from. A nine minute, no, a 10 minute nap. I was gonna say a nine minute, but I think it was 10. But it's time to open this bag of corn. So we're gonna try out one thing. Just do the first thing that's here. Okay. So I've been buying darker clothes lately, but I figured I'd give something else a try here. So size four dress. Oh, she's cute. Okay, okay. It's a fucking shirt. It's not a she. Shut up. I like her. I'm gonna move you guys down. And... Wait a minute. She still didn't hang that fucking picture back up? I've said it before. World's laziest human being. My God. She's so fucking lazy. Let's try her on. Okay, so she fits. 
really, really good. Definitely out of my element. She looks Amish to me, but whatever. But I think it would look really good maybe with a black cardigan or even just like this. No, no, not the tiny cardigan, no. I love the material. It is layered, but it's super lightweight. They're both super thin. The sleeves are super cute. And I really like this part right here with the little bow. So honestly, I think overall I'm gonna give I have a pair of pink pajamas that have it's the same material, everything, but it's just pajamas. It's not, I wouldn't wear it outside. I actually think I did a video with it on. Is this a nine or a 9.5? I really, really love this. No. Okay, you guys, so normally- You're in the minority. Normally when I retire cl What? Okay. <laughs> Let's fix her. Wow, what is happening? Okay, so normally when I retire clothing, give it to Goodwill, friends, I never show you guys. What friends? Ricky and Eric are not cross dressers. What friends? What friends do you have that are gigantic? Who's going to use those clothes? Exactly what I am getting rid of. Oh my God. Ooh. I hate my arms too. I have fat arms. I hate them. There's no way in hell. There's not enough money on the planet that could get me to just be posting them on the internet like this. Ugh. So I figured I'm gonna do that today. I actually went through my clothes a couple weeks ago. I want to know who told her that yanking her greasy sideburns and pulling them down was flattering. She's done it since I've watched her years ago. She's done it for forever. No. So I have a pile of clothes in my closet that I want to give to Goodwill. So I'm going to show you. I love getting rid of clothing. Oh, you guys are facing my toilet. Blah, blah. Not as much as usual, but it's enough. So all of this. This isn't a clothing item, but getting rid of this bath towel. Ah, this is a, a beautiful dress. It was like $130, but. Why, why do you have to say how much it is? Who cares? So what, $130 is not a lot of money. Anyways, um, it's ugly. So why would you waste that much money on that? I don't know. I don't know if I see myself wearing. That's ugly. Something like this. Like You're 31 and not 101? What the fuck? I love the color, wait. Do I wanna keep this? <laughs> this, uh. This is hilarious. This, uh, <laughs> this didn't fit me like a year ago. So let's see if it fits now. Wow. I was actually able to put her on. A year ago, she wouldn't even go over my head. Wait a minute. I really, 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 really dislike her. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> she's on something there has to be some kind of drug use that explains how fucking weird she is there has to be what what did i miss i missed the punchline what i was about to get rid of this what look at her no. Ma'am, I can't get rid of it. It is adorable. Oh, okay. Calm the fuck down. We're not getting rid of this. This is a dumbass. I changed my mind. So I'm getting rid of this dress. I'm not really into floral like I used to be. I am getting rid of this. But you are into a dress 
that looks like a gigantic ass doily. What? Cardigan sweater, never wore it. Like it's cute, but I don't know if it's like, wait, do I want to keep this now too? Yikes. Ugh. Wait, I think I like it. Oh my God. Really? Getting rid of this cardigan. I have had this for years. Getting rid of this sweater cardigan. Oh, oh, oh. Also Was that the tiny one? Please say it's the tiny one. <gasps> oh my God. I hope it's the tiny one. I hate that fucking thing. I've had that for years. This is the longest piece of clothing I've had. I got this at Charlotte Ruse like 10 years ago. I think it's time to retire it. I think I'm over it. Charlotte Ruse has plus size clothing? I did not know that. So I'm getting rid of this. I love it, but I never wear it. It's a dress with glasses and polka dots. Floral shirt, purple sweater. Why is she showing us shit she's getting rid of? I'm a little confused. You're not gonna wear it again, so why the fuck do we care what you're getting rid of? Cardigan, a black light. Unless this is some kind of really weird flex for her. Because I know she loves to flex. Even the strangest shit she likes to flex. Sweatshirt that's so thin you could pretty much see through it. Over it, a blue netted sweater cardigan situation type deal. Last but not least. Fucking idiot. Fucking moron. This is a... Totally out of breath just standing there talking. Totally out of breath. Dress situation type deal that I don't want anymore. Okay, you guys, so I was on my telling them app just looking for some questions to respond to. And I see this one that says you have a wart on your finger. Wow, so gross. I was Okay, although I do think the wart is gross, it's not the grossest thing on her. I think it's very bizarre, not only that someone would ask this or say this to her, directly to her, but I think it's odd that she's responding to it. But okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Confused until I looked at my finger. So welcome to education with Amber Lynn. So teacher Lynn has entered the chat, you know. Oh my God. I want to crack her. It's just going to be great. So this is how I write. I do a lot of writing. I am also a lefty, so I use this hand. What bullshit is she going to tell us? Daily. Constantly. And this is what it's done. Unfortunately. I mean, I have a callus, kind of. I get that. Kind of. But we're... This is a writer's callus. It is not a wart. A writer's callus is an area of ugh, dead skin cells that form as a result of repeated friction against your finger. Also sometimes called a writer's bump or a nerd bump. They form because I write daily. It's unfortunate. I don't believe that. But I mean, I believe obviously this, but I don't believe she writes daily. But it's worth it because writing is very therapeutic to me. Also, while we're here, I want to show you Rarity Gray, my baby girl. That's a fucking wart. That is not a whatever she called it. Because, I mean, I have it. You can see. But I think that's a whole ass wart. But whatever. I mean, I, I wouldn't have addressed it. Mm, it's just wart. The kitty looks cute. She is such an angel. So if you guys want to know a random fact about her, I got her because she was stuck in a storm and I heard her meowing at my apartment door. This was years ago. She was so young. She sounds like she's about to fall asleep. She was actually too young to be separated from her mom. So I actually bottle fed her and now she's giving you guys kisses. And then after being the sweetest little angel that she could be, she decides. Okay, 
I'm convinced she's using a filter because she looks absolutely fucking terrible and very, very, very big here. She looks terrible. I mean, if she wants to use filters, they're her vlogs. It's her health. If it helps her lie to herself, do your thing. But I can't imagine that this is very good for her. It's to hit me with her tail, you know. Oh, I wish she would just crack you. Crack you. You know how cats are. Okay, you guys, so it's... I'm not a cat. I want to crack you. Oh, these fucking art things. So we have a whole minute of these art things. Okay. It's time to do a little update. Now, if I was going to believe anything, she has that thing on her finger from these stupid things. Do I think that she writes every day? Fuck no. Fuck no. That would require more than the two fucking brain cells that she has. No. On my scratch art, these are the ones that you have already seen. Now, I'm going to show you the new. Number one. No. You guys know I hate these fucking things. But I don't know if it's I hate these or I, I hate the way she talks when she's describing them. Like that cringy ass wannabe ASMR bullshit in the background. Ugh. Number two. No. Three. Dumb. Four. Dumb. We also have five, six, and seven. That's where she's getting that thing from. Because that's a lot of tedious work right there. Let me know which is your favorite down below. Fuck off with that shit. They're all stupid. You're 31. Get a fucking life. Go walk around the block. Go, go do something that's somewhat going to help your health. Not just sitting on your ass. Good God. Okay. Yeah, that was really bad. That's one of the worst ones that I think I've seen her do. But whatever. We got through it together. All right. If for some reason Chantel happens to come online today, which I kind of feel like she's not going to. But if she does, I will be back until then. Bye, guys.